Ruth Kegley, and Jim Davis. Andrea is involved in cheerleading, softball, and student council. She enjoys sports, computers, and being with her friends. Sophomore attendant Jill Britt, escorted by John and Joy Britt, participates in cross country, basketball, and track. She's also a member of the student council. She enjoys being with her family and friends. Junior attendant Leslie Skaggs, escorted by her parents, Paul and Susan Skaggs. Leslie is involved in cheerleading, field club, teen institute, French club, and vision. Senior Heidi Groshwalski, escorted by Ben and Kathy Groshwalski, is part of the varsity volleyball team, the track team, and the winter weightlifting. She's also treasurer of the field club and Astro club, vice president of the National Honor Society, and officer of the student council. After high school, I had plans to attend college, possibly major in literature education and photography. Senior Brittany Hennig is escorted by Greg Hennig and Karen Hennig and Lee Holt. She's part of the cross country team, swimming, track, is also involved with Astra, National Honor Society, and the Leo Club. After high school, Brittany would like to major in a health or medical field in college. Senior Amber Horner, escorted by Anthony and Jane Horner, is involved in varsity track and is an officer of the student council and a member of the Leo and Astro clubs. She also enjoys gymnastics. After high school, Amber plans to attend college. Jennifer Ray Richardson is escorted by her parents, Steve and Cheryl Richardson. She's involved in Leo Club, National Honor Society, Vision, and Swimming. After graduation, Jennifer wants to go to college, possibly to OSU. Senior Holly Michelle Shearer is escorted by her parents, Mary and Diana Shearer. Her interest is in playing softball, swimming, skiing, being involved with Habitat for Humanity. Queen. Last year's Queen, Janelle Swinehart, currently attending Ohio Dominican College, will now crown Holly Shear, this year's Queen. Lisa Hansen will present the game ball to the Queen. Congratulations to this year's homecoming queen and her court. Thank, thank you for all of your attention. Mm -hmm. Week 7 of the uh, high school football season, Colonel Crawford, uh, excuse me, Winford uh, won the toss here this evening. They have elected to receive the football, and uh, Colonel Crawford will be defending the north goal, the uh, goal off to our left. And we are just about ready for uh, football. There's a problem with umbrellas and people standing and all kinds of stuff here tonight. Yeah, no kidding. So taking the football up is Colonel Crawford. They'll do it at their 35-yard line, so they are not assessed a penalty. At start of the game, Mike Grove will be the kickoff man. And back deep for Winford. they got a, a bunch of people. Ryan Strom is the uh, man in the middle. Or check that, it's uh, Trent Gerhardt in the middle. You can see the numbers now, but I think once they get a little bit wetter, it's going to be tough here. So we are finally ready to go, and the old fake onside kick by Mike Grove. And now they will deploy to the regular way, and we are finally ready for football here on WQEL Bucyrus, the first choice of North Central Ohio for sports. Again, Grove is ready with the approach, and there is the kick. It will be a short kick, and it's going to come up at about, the, they're going to hit at the 30-yard line, picked up at right about their 35, and going down in a pile at about the 38-yard line is going to be the return man for the Winford Royals. All the and so a first and ten for 
The Winford Royals will start at their own 38-yard line. They will have David Kalb at quarterback with Trent Gerhardt and Andy Markley in the backfield. They will go a three-wide receiver set here on first down. And now flags fly and <laughs> got a penalty before we even start. Well, we did start. Huh? <laughs> well, before the first offensive play no, still. He threw it down by nope. mistake. Never, it's a never mind penalty. His allergies were bothering right. He just had the blows. Just want to make sure it would come out. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> so, of course, that means Winford goes back to the huddle. We're feeling this game may never start. <laughs> I was going to say, we're, here we go, under center now. Yeah, we're under center now. <laughs> on first down, they will just hand the football off as Gerhardt goes right up the middle. And Trent will have a pickup of about five yards on the play. That's a good run up yeah. the middle on first down for uh, Winford. And uh, that's something that this team is going to uh, offer up. Uh, obviously, in this type of weather conditions, you don't know how the passing game is going to be, but Winford is one of those teams they can pass the ball and run the ball equally as well. I want to start out, too, to see how the uh, footing is sure. at the start of the ball game. Mm -hmm. So, again, Cal will reach under center on a second down and five. Long County has got three running backs behind him this time. And he will turn around, gives it this time Gerhardt again, and he will only struggle up to about the 45-yard line, so it gets maybe two yards on the play. Tried to go with a little misdirection there on the run as everybody offensive line, the other running backs, the whole team went to the left. They tried to give it to Gerhardt on a quick handoff to the right, but uh, Colonel Crawford defense was right there to make a good tackle. Little back of a third down and three yards to go. They're at the 45-yard line. Splitting out to the right this time will be Corona. Also another receiver out that way. The backs are in an offset backfield this time. Cal will drop back to throw for the first time. He is rolling to his right. He just flips the pass out there. It's going to be complete enough for the first down. And they get into Colonel Crawford territory. Flag goes down late. Cal's pass complete. Reception is going to be Ryan Strom. And again, there is a flag on the play. The pickup will be for eight or six yards. And we've got offensive pass yep. interference, so pass take it away. Ball. Get the eraser out. Yeah, and that one's uh, one of those plays, I mean, that you wonder if it's, uh, you know, due to the conditions, it's going to be tough for uh, people to, you know, maybe break away from defensive backs, be able to make cuts out there or anything like that. And it's going to be the same with the tailbacks. I mean, they're going to have a tough time cutting up there. But then again, on the other side of it, yeah, again, you know, whether it, you know, favors offense or defense. The weather like this, it's up in the air because if the offensive person is able to make a good cut, who knows whether the defender is going to be able to keep up with them. I mean, it's going to be one of those situations that, uh, you know, both those teams are, there are going to really have to work for. Also brings Long a loss of down, so it is a fourth down and a long way to go. So in to kick the ball away is David Cab, one of the uh, top putters. And back deep for Colonel Crawford is uh, Adam Grau. There's a heavy rush. Somebody got a hand on it, and the ball will... Hit at about the 45-yard line, rolls out of bounds at the Colonel Crawford 43. So there was some pressure, and somebody did get a hand on the ball. Mm -hmm. And the kicker was also run into, but since contact was made, there is no penalty thrown on that. So good field position for Colonel Crawford. And they bring out the new-look offense at the 43-yard line. Yeah, there was no... Uh I mean, the snap was okay. I mean, there was no uh, situation as far as Calb not being able to get a handle of the snap or anything, but uh, still a, a lot of quick pressure, so he had to really punt that off quickly. Brandon Steiger is the quarterback. Has the uh, three running backs in the backfield behind him. On first down, the ball is handed off on the left side to uh, Steiger. Excuse me, kept the football. Mm -hmm. It was an option, and they just decided to keep it, and it looks like he got back at the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up a second down. Yeah, Steiger right there. They tried to do the option play where they did a uh, fake uh, quick handoff to the fullback going over the middle, John West, but uh, no, nothing happened in there. They ended up uh, holding on to the ball, and before you can even think about making the pitch, he was being wrapped up. So Steiger under center. It's a second down and 10. He will turn around this time. He does hand the football off and met immediately and going down. Looks like Justin Miller. He's going to get absolutely nowhere. In fact, he may have lost a yard back to the 42. And it'll bring up a third down and 11. So, so far, the Royal defense has stopped him cold on two runs. Out to the left goes Tim Greenick. As we may see, Steiger put it up for the first time here. Put a man in motion that is Grove out of the backfield. He goes left, as does the quarterback Steiger, and he slips and falls yep. down. There's a 
first tackle made by the turf tonight. It'll be a loss on the play back to the 34-yard line, so a loss of eight. And Crawford will punt it away on fourth down. Yeah, Colonel Crawford on that play, you know, simple uh, play where you just didn't try to roll your uh, quarterback out, give him a little bit of time, try to throw a little out pattern. But unfortunately, Steiger, when he tried to uh, set himself up to make the pass, just slipped right down to the ground. Ryan Schmidt, the punter, he's got plenty of time. Gets an end-over-end -end kick away. It'll take a bounce and takes a Colonel Crawford roll. Eagles back away from it, and they will down it at the 42-yard line. So Winford will actually pick up a couple of yards on the exchange of punts. We've got 8.44 left to go in the first period. Still no score here on homecoming night in North Robinson between uh, Colonel Crawford and Winford. And when it's due to the fact that, you know, these teams are, you know, trying to get it, uh, accustomed to the field conditions. Just a lone running back behind Cal. He does hand the ball off to Gerhardt that time, and Trent will only get maybe a yard out to the 43-yard line, so nobody has tried anything wide yet. And part of that is because when you go out wide, that means that you're going to have to try to cut back. And yep. anytime you try to cut back in these situations, you know, obviously you got a sopping wet field out there. It's still raining. Yep. You know, I mean, there's going to be a lot of slipping and sliding. And you want to try to avoid that. Try to go right up the middle as much as possible. Downside to that, though, is the defense knows that, yep. too. So they're just going to pack it in. Again, just the lone running back. I believe it's Markley this time behind Cal. And he will, David will keep the football. Good move as he goes to the 50-yard line. David down to the 45, dives forward. And nobody else around him, so he was able to stretch the football out, and they will give him down to the 45-yard line. So pick up of 12 on the play, and there's our first first down of the night. That's a good play right there for the Winford Royals. Is, uh, you know, they faked the quick early handoff to Gerhardt, actually to Markley up the middle, and that's been the play that they've been going with. That's been the run, you know, just straight up the middle, quick handoffs. So Colonel Crawford, the defense, uh, got a little bit aggressive there, all went right towards Markley, and Cal was able to hold on to the ball, had a little bit of hole to run through, and by any by the time anybody from the Eagles was able to come up, one of the secondary guys, he was still good nine, ten yards downfield. So, Winford at the Colonel Crawford 45-yard line. is again, Calb under center this time. They've got the three running backs in there, one wide out to the left. Calb going long count this time. And he will hand the football off, and Markley gets it only down to the back to the 45-yard. I think about a half a yard. So, we'll still call it second down and ten. As, again, he went right into the middle of the Crawford line. Yeah, Colonel Crawford's defense has always been very solid, number two in the NCC at this point in time this year. So, you know, getting yards for Winford is not going to come easily. Um, you know, at some point in time, you know with Winter, Winford's uh, ability to put some points on the board that, that they probably will be able to march down field and get some points in the end zone. But still, it's going to be a challenge each and every time for the Eagle, or for the Royals, that is, going against this Eagle defense. Cronin and Weisenauer split out to the right. They've got a lone running back behind Cal. They bring a man in motion, that is Gerhardt. And Cal will take the quick drop. He fires the ball over the middle, and it's out of the hands of Matt Cooper coming from the uh, tight end spot on the left side. And it looked like it was a little bit behind him. Yeah, and if he could have gotten that pass right there, Cooper actually had a, a step on the uh, Colonel Crawford defenders and nobody behind him. So he had a, a lot of opening running room right now downfield if he was able to hold on to that football. Third and ten for Winford as the uh, rain looks like it's picking up once again. Gave up for just a brief period right before the... Uh, Start of the homecoming activities and then came back out. So Winford with a third and long will put three wide receivers into the ball game. Just the one running back again behind Cal. David Doe will keep the football. He goes with that little option play, but this time somebody for Crawford stays home. They've got him by the jersey and finally bring him down. It was Mike Grove who had the jersey and just wouldn't let David go and then finally get some help. Does get a pickup of three yards down to the 42 yard line. Brings up fourth down, about six yards to go. Let's see what. At this point, Crawford looks like they are going to are going to punt it away because Calb is the punter. He just stays. In fact, all the offense just stays in for the punt. Dropping back deep are Andy Cochran. There's the snap. Again, a good rush. This time the ball is away cleanly. It's headed for the end zone, and ball is oh boy. bobbled at the five-yard line and going down is the return man. Adam Ground, I think he's going to get a lecture when he comes to the sideline. Oh, yeah. Let that one go into the end zone because there was nobody around you. Yeah, there's a... He's sitting on the two-yard line when he tried to field that punt. Never field a punt that close. And we saw exactly what happened. Is he actually fumbled the ball as it came down, was able to drop back on top of it and uh, drop a little bit forward to about the five-yard line. But still, you're taking a huge chance every time you try to you know, field a punt that close to your end zone, especially in conditions like this, Jim. 6 one to go, first quarter, no score. As Colonel Crawford has it for the second time, Steiger brings it up to the line of scrimmage. 
And he will just turn around, hands the football off, and slashing his way for a couple of yards is Andy Cochran. Gets it out to maybe the eight-yard line, so pick up a three on the play. And brings up a second down and about eight yards to go. Tell you, you know, Colonel Crawford's going to have to watch themselves as far as making those handoffs because a couple of times Winford has been in the backfield, uh, had a, a defensive lineman actually break through and get to the quarterback just as he's handing the ball off. So it brings up a second down and eight, as we said. Ball is, again, handed off. And some heavy hit. The ball does come loose. And I think Crawford, though, fell back on it at the five-yard line. Grove was the, or excuse me, Cochran, the ball carrier again. And the ball did get stripped, but Crawford falls on it. And now they've got a third and long. Run. Officials are doing their best to keep a dry football out there, but it's... Uh, it's not going to be easy. No, it's raining and it's really not going to happen. I mean, let's face it. I mean, the ball is going to be wet one way or the other. I mean, you're just going to have to play through it and get used to it. But uh, still, I mean, you got to hold on to that football. They're going to have to run with two hands on the ball at all times out there. So on third down, Crawford will bring a receiver to the right. That is a Greenick. Steiger, though, will just hand the football off. They should try to run something wide this time. Get a little bit of a hold for Justin Miller, and he gets it across the 10 out to the 11 yard line, so at least they'll have a little room to kick the ball away. But again, uh, Winford going to, again, pick up some yards on the exchange of punts. Absolutely. They're doing a good, nice job right now. Even if you can't move the ball offensively, you know, you get a couple of good punts off and you see what happens. I mean, you pin Colonel Crawford deep, uh, down deep. Now they're punting out of their end zone. You're going to get the ball in Colonel Crawford territory right now. Schmidt to kick it away. Kalb standing back at about his 40-yard line. There's a little floater of a snap ball. Just got it away, but a nice kick. It'll... And the ball goes oh. through the hands of the return man, and the ball's still rolling loose to the 50-yard line. Crawford going to pick it up. There's going to be a dash for the end zone, but I think he's going to get caught from behind and pulled down from behind. Justin Miller picked it up at about midfield and took it all the way down. They're going to say to the 20-yard line, so a fumble on the punt. I believe it was Matt Cooper who had the ball go through his hands. Yeah, David Calvin uh, chasing down. The uh, Colonel Crawford runner right there. As you said, it was Justin Miller picking it up, making a mad dash for the end zone. Cal caught him and from behind, I but still. The, yeah, I think they're going to say the ball's back at the 50-yard line. I think they're going to say he was down. His knee they was down when he picked it up, yeah. And so they're going to bring it all yeah, the way back. Yeah, they are going to yeah. come back oh. with it. So. A little break for Winford, bad break for Colonel Crawford, but still, but, they still get know, the football. The fact yeah. that they get the football back, and, I mean, they lost, actually started this drive off uh, not in too yeah. bad a territory. I mean, you know, I mean, compared to what they were facing yeah. just moments ago. But again, you know, punting game, that's going to be something that, you know, we've already seen two fumbles on punts. And, uh, you know, those are the types of plays that, you know, the wet football is really going to, you know, play havoc with. So Colonel Crawford gets a second opportunity here as they recover the fumble. They're going to say back at the their own 47-yard line. Or it'll be first down. We've got 4.02 left to play in this first period. On a soggy night in North Robinson. Again, the wishbone formation for Colonel Crawford. Steiger turned around, hands the football off, trying to get to the outside. It's going to be uh, Miller that time. Justin will maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Yeah, not a whole lot of running room right there as Winford's really packing it up on the line of scrimmage, daring Colonel Crawford to try to do something other than just running the football. But the problem is when you get these type of conditions, you know, part of the good thing about the wishbone is when you can run option plays, um, you know, sweep it around to the outside and get some extra blockers out there. But when you're running those sweeps in these types of conditions, it's very tough to make those cuts, as I said. Lost a yard on the play, so it's second and 11 ball was bobbled on the snap, and that's going to ruin the timing, and Steiger will go down back around his 40-yard line. Never did get a clean exchange and had all kinds of trouble with it. And they'll say he was brought down at the 30 or at the 44-yard line, so a loss of two yards on the play. And brings up a third and 13. You hate to say this, Jeff, but the way this game is starting with the weather conditions, it's going to be a mistake. It's going to cost somebody Absolutely. a ball game here. You can almost see it right fumble. now. I mean, and on that play right there, you know, the quarterback, you know, Steiger had a real tough time getting a hold of the football. But even still, I mean, Winford's defense is just sitting in the backfield at this point in time. The defensive line is really blown through the offensive line of Colonel Crawford. Greenick will come as a receiver to the near side. They bring a man in motion out of the backfield. Steiger with the option. He's going to fire the ball over the middle and throw it right into a hand of a Winford Royal. And a return going to come down to about the 45-yard line. Looked like Nick Lynn picked it off, number 53, but we'll have to wait a lay. Untangle it and step away. Well, we may not know who yep. the man was. Yeah. Actually, uh, 57. It looked like his. Uh, looked like Jeff Karcher. Jeff Karcher. Okay, he was able to step in front of it and get so the interception. Turnovers right are even now. 
And Winford ends up with the football at about the point they would have had the punt at the uh, 45-yard line. Yep. So, it, so as it turns out, I mean, like you said, you know, the, the mistakes here early in the game, you've seen a lot of them at this point in time. Calbon first down will keep the ball. He looked for the option. Didn't find anybody now. He's in trouble back on his side of the 50-yard line. He does throw the ball away at the last moment, and there was a man in the area, mm -hmm. so they will just roll it an incompleted pass. Good job by uh, Calb to get away from it, and also the, uh, I think it was Weisenauer who came back and was actually probably within about five yards of the ball when it dropped. Yeah, Colonel Crawford defense really doing a nice job putting a lot of pressure on Calb early in this game. Let's face it, I mean, as far as the Winford Royal offense goes, you know, Calb really stirs the drink. You know, even running the football, I mean, you know, it's his ability to be able to pass the ball well. Also, he's very fast, so, you know, when he fakes the handoff and take off, I mean, he can make a lot of things happen out there. They really want to try to keep him under wraps and keep him under control, and they're doing it so far early here in this game. 2.28 left to go in the first period. No score as Winford faced with a second down and 10 from the Colonel Crawford 44-yard line. Calb will turn around, hands the football off the quick hitter this time, and stumbling forward, I believe Markley will have to wait till lay. Get up to be sure. It is Andy Markley, and Andy gets it down to the 40-yard line, so pick up a five on the play, and it'll bring up a third and five. A yeah, good movement right there for Winford. As they've, uh, you know, gone with a quick shot right up the middle a couple of times, but it's been a handful of plays since they ran it. So, you know, you mix things up enough, and uh, you'll find some holes every once in a while to be able to do a play like that. So it'll be a third down and five yards ago. Winford has yet to convert on third down tonight. This will be their third attempt as... Cal brings him up to the line of scrimmage. David will just hand the football off. Again, Markley the ball carrier, and he's going to get pretty close to that first down, but I think he's going to be short. Well, I think you're in four-down territory here as you're getting down to the 35-yard line. Pick up another four on the play. Markley will get the handoff. He runs that way. He's got the first down just barely. Looks like he was going to get a whole lot more, and then suddenly uh, Crawford closed on him. He will have enough for the first down to the 32-yard line, so he picks up another four yards on the play. And that'll be the second first down in the ball game for the Winford Royals. One of the Colonel Crawford defensive linemen actually made a break right through, and uh, he got uh, to the uh, quarterback, Calb, and also Markley, right as the handoff was being made. He tried to make the decision on, uh, you know, who do I go for? You go for the quarterback or you go for the running back. You know, wasn't sure if he was going to do a fake and Calb was going to keep it. So uh, he went after Calb. Markley got the football and was able to get a first down. 47 seconds left to play in the first period as Calb will keep the football himself. Just goes straight up the middle and the quarterback keeper gets it to the 30-yard line. So he picks up two yards on the play and that may be the final play of the first period here. What I like about what Winford's doing here on this drive is they're keeping it very conservative and very simple. Like we said, you know, the weather conditions, you can harp on them all you want, but they are a huge obstacle to an offense. And, you know, you really just want to keep things simple like it was right there, just a quick, you know, takes the ball to the quarterback. you got a quarterback with some good wheels. You know, give him the football, let him try to run a little bit. He just kind of stood back, did the draw, you know, waited for a little bit of a hole to develop. Not much was there. But at least, you know, you're not going to turn the ball over, generally speaking, doing a simple play like that. Well, five seconds as Winford comes up to the line of scrimmage, and they're going to get to lay a game. At, uh, <laughs> one sec or two seconds left to play in the quarter when the flag was dropped, so that'll be the second penalty of the night on the Winford Royals. I think they may have thought they could run the uh, mm -hmm. clock down before the uh, delay a game call would come, so they're going to have to let the timekeeper know how much time is left. It should be about two seconds, I think. But Winford now will come up to the line of scrimmage. Again, they have two wide receivers out to the right this time, faced with a second down and eight now. They put a man in motion from the backfield. Back to throw is Cal. He's got some time. He fires the ball over the middle, a little bit high, and there's going to be a pass well, yeah, interference. Yeah. Get hit. A couple of flags coming down. A tenor receiver was Mark Corona, and it was Adam Grau yeah. coming up and making that hit before uh, Corona. That ball was uh, a good five yards from Corona when uh, Grau came up and made the pop on him. Well, it'll cost Crawford 10 yards. It's also an automatic first down. And the quarter still has not come to an end because you cannot end the quarter on a defensive penalty, I don't believe. Or is it just a half? I'm not really sure about yeah. that. I'd have to double-check the rule on that. They're discussing it now. And... <laughs> and I think that'll be the end of the... Yeah. Well, maybe oh, they're still they're setting, still, yeah, setting, still setting the football, yeah. They're, they're, so... Yeah, they're getting a dry football is what they're doing. I thought they were picking it up to go on the other... And he just dropped it on the ground, so it's <laughs> wet. So. <laughs> In theory, it was a good idea. 
So we'll have one more snap here. The ball down down to the Crawford 20-yard line where they have it first and 10, it should be. And as Calb under center, they put the man in motion, Corona, who lined up in the backfield. He then oh. somebody on the left side moved <laughs> for Quinford. Maybe the quarter that doesn't end. Yeah, that was Nick Fadley, and he, he kind of gave a pop-up. And instead of even trying to play, like he just paused, like just stopped, put his head down, knew. Yeah. You know, whoops. <laughs> Mistake there. So it came with the, uh, of course, the clock stopped, so we'll still get another snap here. Oh, it's raining, folks. What are we going to do anyway? Might as well just stay home and listen to a football game. That's right. <laughs> Again, Cal brings him up to the line of scrimmage. Again, they put Corona in motion out of the backfield. And Cal will turn around, hands the football off to Markley. He's got the big hole. He's at the 15-yard line, and a touchdown-saving tackle is made by Colonel Crawford. And with that, the first quarter will come to an end. Tackle uh, made by uh, Adam Shearer, I believe. So that'll end the first quarter here in North Robinson on a rainy homecoming night. It's Colonel Crawford nothing and Winford nothing. It's a second down and five to go for Winford at the Crawford 14-yard line. Cal wants to throw the football as he rolls to the near side. He lets the ball go. It's incomplete through it at the feet of Trent Gerhardt. But there's a prime example of how this weather affects. I mean, you know, there is his receiver, Gerhardt, is open on that play. And generally speaking, I mean, we've seen Cal make that pass 100 yeah. times perfectly. But in this one, he gets t has a tough time getting a hold of the football, and he ends up throwing a little bit of short on the play. But, uh, you know, Winford, I really do like the play calling, though. It's very simple. You know, their offensive line is actually opening up some holes on this drive. So, you know, just go with the, the run up the middle until Colonel Crawford can prove that they can stop it. Well, they'll put three wide receivers in the ball game with... The only running back, Markley, in motion goes corner. Back to throw is Cab. He's going to get some pressure now. He's chased out of the pocket. He fires the ball weakly oh. over the middle, and it'll go incomplete. And Cab went down hard as he was being pursued by Justin Miller. Yeah, it was and Miller, also, actually, a couple uh, other guys, yeah, too. Also, uh, Brandon Scott, or excuse me, Adam Shear was the other guy chasing him. Yeah, Miller actually was able to uh, get a pretty good lick on the Cab on that play. But, uh, you know, you're trying to throw the football in this weather, I mean, you're never going to get a really good pass off. I mean, pretty much you, you're banking on the fact that, uh, you know, your quarterback going to be able to get a good enough time to be able to set up and try to throw, you know, good pass. But when you're running around in this type of weather, you know, you've got a lot of obstacles, not only with the footing, but the grip on the football. It's very difficult to pass the football in this weather. Matt Cooper is going to attempt a field goal from the 23-yard line, but Winford wants a timeout to get everybody set, so we'll step aside. 11.50 left to go in the second quarter. No score. Colonel Crawford and Winford. The Galleon community is one thing you got to watch yeah. on this you know, field goal attempt here. I mean, 33 yards is actually like 43 yards when you're talking about uh, the type of weather you're looking at. Kalb is the holder. There's the snap. A good snap to spot. The kick is up. It looks like it's going to be off to the left. He did have the distance, yes, but he just did. missed it off to the left. So the missed field goal keeps the score tied at the nothing, and Colonel Crawford will get the football out to the 20-yard line since the kick came from inside the or line of scrimmage was inside the or no, it would get a 23 yard line because that was the line of scrimmage so mm -hmm. Colonel Crawford will take over there after the missed field goal well, they are going to put it down at the 20 so Crawford from the uh, 20 yard line will have it first down there I really thought, yeah, we got the seat tonight that we can lean back against, but the umbrellas they, they, they have to can. stand up and we got to make a move because we can't see. So, First down for <laughs> Colonel Crawford. They're at their own 20-yard line. Sure. Not seen a whole lot of scoring the last two Friday nights. No, and I have a feeling <laughs> yeah, what we're looking at here, we we'll probably won't again. Again, Adam Shearer comes up to the line of scrimmage for Colonel Crawford. Got the backs in the eye this time as they go away from the wishbone. It's the option. He throws the ball back to the trailing back. It's going to be uh, Schmidt, and Ryan will get it across the to maybe the 22-yard line, maybe 23 at the best. So it's going to be another third and long for Colonel Crawford, just a one-yard pickup. And brings up a third and eight. They are 0 for 3 on the third down so far. Yeah, Colonel Crawford really having a tough time opening up any holes for their tailbacks to get through because, uh, you know, they're getting the actual pitches off relatively well, but Winford has got guys there. It, it seems like they're playing with 15 guys on the field defensively. Greenick and Dyer split out to the right. Again, the backs are in the eye. And yeah, Shearer wants to throw the football. He's going to get chased, and he's going to go down. Lost the football, and it's going to be picked up by a Colonel Crawford uh, back who was trailing, Orion Schmidt. Actually, 
Would have been a loss back of the 15, but the fumble will bring it out to the 17-yard line, so still a loss on the play of uh, seven yards. Now make a five-yard loss. And Colonel Crawford will punt the football away once again as Ryan Schmidt will do the kicking. Cooper and Kalb back at about midfield for Colonel for Winford. Nice snap. Not much of a rush. It's a nice, a nice kick away this time. High end over end. Fair catch is called for and taken by uh, David Kalb at about the 44-yard line. Nice kick that time. Absolutely. That was a great kick at that point in time. You know, Winford is in good shape, though, because uh, they're really winning the battle of field position. You know, ever since they were able to get that interception, they lost it there for a moment when they fumbled the punt. But, uh, you know, they were able to pick up the interception. And now, you know, Colonel Crawford, you know, luckily for Winford, their defense is stepping up and they're going four and out or three and out pretty much every time. But, you know, the fact of the matter is, is, you know, with Colonel Crawford, they're facing 80 yards in front of them in this condition. It's going to be tough to get that type of yardage. Ten and a half minutes to go in the first half. Ball is handed off on a short handoff. And... I did not see who the ball carrier was. It's an umbrella pass. Still in front underneath of it. it. Yeah. There you go. It's Barkley, Barkley. Yeah. yeah. Andy will get a short pickup. <laughs> Just when you think you can sit down. That's right. <laughs> yes, yeah, they got these huge golf umbrellas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's really coming down now. It's the hardest yep. it's rained tonight. Almost as hard as when you went out to the car to get your jacket. <laughs> well, Second down. Inside. No gain on the play. <laughs> yeah. Ball is given up and tiptoeing his way to so the 50-yard line. It's going to be Gerhardt, stiff arms to 45, and Trent will go down for a first down into Colonel Crawford territory, down to the Eagles' 43-yard line. Pick up a 13 on the play. That's a great run there yeah. by Gerhardt, his uh, Winford offensive line. Once again, they did a little misdirection on that play. Everybody else blocked, everybody blocked into the left. They sent Gerhardt over to the right, opened up a little bit of a hole for him. By the time anybody from Colonel Crawford was able to get near him, he was able to uh, be a good seven, eight yards downfield. 9.42 left to go in the first half. No score in the ball game. As the game has been played basically between the uh, almost between the 40-yard lines, it seems. As Calb on a first down will give the football off. First man through that is Markley. He breaks away. He's down to the 30-yard line, puts his head down, and plows forward to the 25-yard line. So Andy Markley with another big gain. Go with the two running backs. And the ball is fumbled on the snap, and a big pile up, and we'll have to wait to see who's on the bottom. And Winford does recover their own fumble, but costs them a down, and they lose about a yard on the play as well, so it'll be a second down and 11. And they go back to the Crawford 27-yard line, looks like. Yeah, there's something that, you know, we figure we're going to see a lot of that, and it, it happened, and like you said, I mean, it is coming down hard yeah. right now, so that's uh, obviously keeping the ball dry is just not going to be an option. On a second down and 11, Calb slowly walks up to the line of scrimmage, and he will take the quick drop. He's looking to his left, nobody there, and Crawford will drop him for a loss. In to make the stop is going to be Trinity Butler. And it will be a loss all the way back to the 33-yard line. And it'll bring up a third and long. Yeah, you know, Winford right there tried to do a quick out pattern, but Colonel Crawford secondary did a nice job getting right on top of the receiver, Corona, and uh, Calp had to end up holding the football. Tried to uh, roll out a little bit, make something happen, but Butler was able to break through his offensive lineman, make a big sack there. Now it's a third and long. Third and 18. And Calb again will drop back. Everybody is coming on the full-out blitz. The pass is going to be in the middle, and he did catch it, but he was yeah. on his knee. Uh, making a nice uh, shoestring catch was Trent Gerhardt, but he was on his knee when he caught it, so he'll be down right there at the 36-yard line. Actually, so it'll be might lost yeah, might have lost the yardage on that. Loses three more yards. And again, a full-out blitz that time, and yeah, Calb kept backing yeah. up and backing up. You know, you know, just trying to you know keep away from the uh, defensive line. Then he just kind of flipped one up that was just a little bit short. Generally speaking, Gerhardt probably would have been able to get under it, but as he tried to make a break back to try to get the ball, he slipped and fell. Grau and Cochran back as Cal goes for a coffin corner kick. It's a nice one. It's going to roll inside the 10-yard line and die right there at about the 9-yard line or so. Great punt yeah. right there. So Winford will back Crawford up. 7-19 left to go in this first half. No score. The only uh, scoring opportunity was... Uh, Matt Cooper attempting a 33-yard field goal in the first quarter, which was a little bit off to the left, and that has been it so far as anybody even getting close to the end zone. 
And Crawford will start on their own nine-yard line following the punt. Yeah, the Eagles have really spent most of their offensive drives coming from deep in their own territory. Hopefully they want to get some positive yardage now and uh, kind of get themselves so they're not always starting off their drives inside the 10 or 20. They will go to the uh, I formation and the uh, quarterback option. They hands the football off. I believe it's going to be Cochran, but we'll have to wait and see. In the sea of uniforms over there, Roger Perkins, the ball carrier. So it'll be a short pickup. And to that, to about the almost the 14 yard line, so it does get five yards on the play. And brings up second down and five. Let's go, Let's go point. He's not too yeah, wet yet. I was yeah. going to say, <laughs> the one dry guy. <laughs> right, in yeah. the Backs are in the eye. <laughs> And Steiger gets bumped as he hands the football off, but getting good positive yardage at least. They're going to be very close to the first down. It'll be third and short. And that time the uh, ball carrier was Justin Miller. We'll bring up a third down. And about a yard to go. Crawford has yet to get a first down in the ballgame. We've got 6.20 left to go in the first half as it continues to pour down here in North Robinson. Yeah, Winford uh, defensively is doing a nice job filling the gaps and filling the holes that the offensive linemen are opening up for their tailbacks. Backs again in the eye behind Steiger. He will turn around, hands the football off, and diving for but going to be short of the first down. He is again going to be uh, Miller. Everybody's probably going, where was this rain about two and a half, three months ago? And we really could have used it. <laughs> yeah, that's <it's not> true. <laughs> When we didn't have to be outside for a homecoming <laughs> yeah. football game. So it'll be third down and about four yards to go. Or no, they give him first down. Sorry. First and ten. I did not think he made positive error. That's the first first down of the ball game for Colonel Crawford as they get it out to the 20-yard line. Yeah, they had to get to the 19. So There's their first first down. They did it on the ground. Steiger again under center. will Keep the football himself as he rolls to the outside. He's got five yards, and he's going to have about an eight, nine-yard pickup as he's pushed out in front of the Winford bench. First time we have seen anybody able to turn the corner for Colonel Crawford, and that time Brandon does. And gets a nice eight-yard pickup. Yes, the Tiger there taking it to the short side of the field. May have even gotten a couple more yards if he didn't run out of room. Uh, a good play right there for Colonel Crawford. They've been running that play up the middle so much that Winford, you know, the defensively, uh, you know, when they did the fake up the middle, they kind of collapsed in, and that gave uh, Steiger enough room to come around the outside and get some good positive yardage. Second down and two for Colonel Crawford. And go back to the wishbone formation this time. Ball is handed on this near side. It'll be another first down. Still pushing the pile forward. He is going to be the running back. Might have been Miller. Oh, yeah, it was Justin. And he's got a first down for Colonel Crawford. Yeah, Colonel Crawford doing a very nice job of moving the football right now just with simple runs. I really believe that's the way you got to go yeah. about it here. You know, if the defense stops you, they stop you, but you can't afford to try to make big plays happen, especially when you're deep in your own territory. You know, just keep it simple, and then, uh, you know, go with, it, go with it up the gut, and Colonel Crawford's getting a lot of good positive yardage now. Greenick and Dyer come out from the near side. They go back to the eye. Steiger keeps the football. Now he pitches it back. The ball is dropped. Yep. And I think Winford may have gotten it. It's back at the 30-yard yeah, line, and the Royals do recover. So there you go away. Just as Jeff was saying, he went away from the simple, mm -hmm. went to a pitch that time, and uh, the ball just slipped out of the hand. So second turnover on Colonel Crawford. Yeah, I mean, it, when you see... You know, the quarterback's having enough, enough tough enough time just getting the ball from the center, and that's on a direct snap. I mean, when you're pitching the ball and trying to throw it around, I mean, it's going to get dropped. I, I mean, you almost get more than almost 50% of the time, and, you know, that's what happens right there. Winford gets good field position once again. Second turnover on Colonel Crawford is Cal now brings Winford up to the line. He goes with just the quick handoff, but getting absolutely nowhere is going to be Andy Markley. And he has stopped right at the 30. In fact, he loses a yard on the play. And we'll bring up a second down. 440 left to play here in the first half. No score in the ballgame. It is homecoming. Congratulations to uh, Holly Shear. Bucket is the homecoming queen here tonight in North Robinson. As Cal brings Winford up to the line of scrimmage with a second and 11, he will hand the football off. And slipping through is going to be the running back. Maybe Markley's at the 15-yard line, and a flag goes down as... The running back gets all the way down to the 10 yard line. Leg on the play. Yeah, Markley. Markley, yeah. Winford is wearing the uh, gray uniforms with the uh, 
blue numerals and they're hard enough to read before they get wet and we're getting old. <laughs> I'll admit it. <laughs> Carry went down to the ten yard line. It would be a twenty yard pickup, but let's see what the flag probably gonna be a clip or something, I would think, or a hole. Yeah, it was down oh, it was it downfield. Oh. oh, that's unusual. Oh, okay. There's, there's offsides and a clip. Wow. Is what it is. They did not see a, line, a flag at the line of scrimmage. All the flags were up at the, where the clip was. Yeah, the clip came about the 15-yard line, well downfield. And it puts you back to the 30 that they take the offsides. I, I would imagine they're going to take the offsides yeah, penalty. Because mm -hmm. the uh, clip would come from the point of the foul. The flags are laying at about the 15, so that would put it back to the 30 where the, at the original line of scrimmage. So the official coming over to explain it all. We'll have a clip. Uh, Winford declined. And then offsides on the Royals, which will be accepted. So that will push Winford back. And that's one of the first few, yeah. uh, f you know, really good yardage that we've seen on a uh, handoff right there. As uh, Markley was able to uh, get through the initial uh, Colonel Crawford defenders, you know, the defensive line, the linebackers. And he's got some good speed. He gets into the open field. He can really make some things happen. And, you know, he, he took off there. He really put Winford in a good position to score, but some penalties hurt him. They do get the down over, so it's just second down. Um, second down, the ball is handed off. Looked like about the same play, but this time Crawford able to stay home, making the uh, tackle is going to be Mike Grove uh, and Markley. And we'll bring up a third down and long. Winford 0 for 5 on the third down so far. I need a squeegee to clean the window on here. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should be a job for the uh, PA announcer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Pick up a four on the play. <laughs> Brings up a third down. But, you know, the penalties in these situations really hurt you really yeah. bad because, you know, throwing the football is hard enough, you know, when you're looking for short yardage. Cal will pitch the ball to the left this time. It's a good, safe pitch, and Gerhardt breaks. I think it's Gerhardt who breaks away a couple of times and gets it down inside the 25-yard line. I have to make sure that they unpile it all. Yep, Gerhardt. And that's a good play there for Winford in that, you know, they flooded the right side of the field with, you know, three receivers. Also, you know, the main guy who's been doing most of the bulk of the running, Markley, all kind of sitting on the right side. So uh, Colonel Crawford sat on that side as well. And then they did just a quick pitch out to the left side with Gerhardt nowhere around him. So he had uh, some good yardage there. Pick up a seven on the play, so it brings up a fourth down and 24. Winford one for one on fourth downs. Cal will throw the ball. He's going for the corner. He's got his man at the five-yard line and just stepping out of bounds at about the four. Might be Cooper over there. It was Cooper. No, Corona, okay. Well, Mark Corona yeah, making the... Confusion, but still, I mean, yeah, that's, that's nice a good play, play right yeah. there. You know, even though obviously they don't get a touchdown, I mean, that puts Colonel Crawford once again starting another drive in their own end zone almost. It'll be, no, it'll be first down for Winford, so the Royals have oh, yeah, first, and, first, first and goal from the about the five-yard oh, yeah. line, they're going to call it. So it is a first down for Winford. As Cal brings up 2.36 to go till the half. On uh, first down, they hand the football off, and going nowhere is going to be Gerhardt. Or excuse me, Markley, excuse me. And Andy gets only back at the line of scrimmage, where it'll be a second down. Clock. Running with 2.19 left to go till halftime. And we will come back for the halftime band shows mm -hmm. in the rain tonight. <laughs> yeah. You got to be pretty excited about that. Yeah. One running back is Markley behind the quarterback as they go with the three wide receivers. Cal will roll out. He's looking for the end zone. He cuts back, and he's going to be in the end zone. Touchdown for David Kalb from five yards out. And we've got our first score of the ball game coming with a minute 55 to go in the first half. And the Winford Royals take the 6 nothing lead. And did uh, got the one big pass play, but for the most part did it uh, on the ground. Yeah, just very simple plays. And on the pass play, that was just a, you know, a quick pass you know, down the uh, left sideline. Even on that play, the pass wasn't very good. I mean, it was, it was definitely behind the receiver, but that's actually why it was completed because the receiver was able to look back, stop his momentum, and the, whereas the defensive back, he just kept running and was not able to uh, adjust to the ball. And this was set up by the uh, Colonel Crawford fumble on the pitch. Cooper in to attempt the point after the ball is down. The kick is up and right through the upright. We've got a minute 55 to go in the first half. We've got a timeout on the field. It's the Winford Royals 7, Colonel Crawford Eagles nothing.
especially considering Colonel Crawford's been starting every drive inside their own 20, 10 yard line, yeah. especially the last uh, three, I think, have come inside their own 10. So, uh, you know, as far as the Eagles go, I mean, they're facing so much yardage in front of them that, I mean, going 90 yards without turning the ball over is, you know, it's nearly impossibility. Oh, Matt Cooper really gets into that one. He turned down to the five yard line. Back to the 20 yard line, 25 breaking through. That's Miller. He's out to the 34, 35 yard line. So, Justin Miller. With a nice return, we'll give Colonel Crawford the football at their own 36-yard line. They've got a minute 48 to go till halftime. They do have all three of their all three of their uh, timeouts left, and they're going to say right at the 35-yard line. It will be. There's a lot of yardage in front of them, even with the timeouts. You know, being how difficult it is to throw it. the ball. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is going to be tough. So Steiger on first down, they go to the I formation. He bobbles the uh, snap a little bit. Now he does pitch the ball back, and I think he That's lost it again. Yeah. And able to cover it up, though, mm -hmm. is the uh, running back in there. That time was Ryan Schmidt. And he will end up losing a yard on the play. Yeah, the pitcher coming really hard from Steiger is, you know, he's getting hit as he's making the pitch, which is generally speaking what you want your quarterback yeah. to do. But the pitches are coming so fast at the tailback so they just can't get a good grasp on the football. I think because of that play, Crawford will not stop the clock. They'll just let it run down here. We'll be under a minute by the time we get the next playoff, or just about a minute. They bring two receivers to the near side. Backs are in the eye. And Steiger will just turn around, hands the football off, and picking his way left is Schmidt. And he will get it out to about the 37-yard line, so it picks up just three yards on the play. And bring up a third down. And about seven yards to go. Winford, or excuse me, Colonel Crawford has not converted on a third down in the first half. They're 0 for 5. And this could be the final play of the half. As Greenick will come as a receiver to the near side, also cutting out this way as Cochran. Backs are in the eye. And in motion, so nobody left in the backfield. Steiger back to throw. He's going to get some pressure. He airs one out. It's going to be picked off by Kalb, and he will go down immediately at the 36-yard line. Third turnover on Colonel Crawford in the first half. Royals will have just 21 seconds if they want to do anything with it. Yeah, it's just like a punt there on yeah. that play. I mean... You know, it, no, granted, I'm sure they probably would have preferred to just, you know, take the clock and, you know, I mean, hope that ball goes incomplete and then, you know, punt it away on their last play. But still, uh, as far as that goes, I mean, you know, Winford now with only 21 seconds has a lot of yardage in front of him. Probably just take a knee yeah, here. Yeah, 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 they're, yeah, they're closing up, so they're just going to take the knee and let the clock run out, and they'll go to the locker room with the lead here at halftime. So that will be the final play of the first half as David Kalb does take the knee back at about the uh, 24 or 34 yard line and they will just let the clock run down so we've played half a football game here tonight in north robinson on uh, colonel crawford's homecoming it's been a, a rainy night the uh, field is the uh, big winner in the first half yes. the uh, halftime <laughs> score the uh, winford royals seven the colonel crawford eagles nothing we'll check uh, be back with the halftime shows right after this and matt cooper has the ball on the far side from us getting it teed up cooper to kick off for winford back deep for Colonel Crawford, we've got uh, Ryan Schmidt, Schmidt and also Adam Grau. Miller back. Or Miller, excuse me, is back. And there's the bluff of the onside. One of these days he's going to do it, though. <laughs> Will we be there to see it? Probably not. <laughs> so Cooper ready to kick it off as the second half is underway. It's going to be another deep kick. It'll Drive back into the end zone, Ryan Schmidt, and once the ball goes into the end zone, it is a touchback. And Colonel Crawford will start at their own 20-yard line, so still not the best field position for the Eagles. Very little bit of wind right there. I mean, it, it is at Winford's back on the kick, but really just a booming kick there yeah. by Cooper. And once again, uh, you know, Colonel Crawford, though, they got to feel good at, at least, you know, you know, compared to what they had yeah. in the first half. I mean, this is actually a great field position for them. And here comes the rain. It's only a matter of time. But the players are thinking, that's great. It stopped during halftime. And then yep. it starts up again. We come out. Ryan, or they bring out to the line of scrimmage. Does Brandon Steiger on the first down. They just go right up the middle. There's a fumble. Mm -hmm. Handoff again. And, and Winford, Winford got, got it. it. Yep. Yep. That'll be the fourth turnover on Colonel Crawford. Fumble on the play. Winford recovers. And 
Mm -hmm. Just on the snap, yeah. right there, yeah. you know, just very simple. It's, you know, trying to get that snap from uh, the center of the quarterback in these conditions is an adventure in itself. And sure enough, uh, Winford ends up uh, gets a great opportunity to try to go up by two touchdowns here early in the second half. They'll be at their, the Crawford 21-yard line following the bad exchange as the umbrellas pop back up. And David Cal brings him up to the line of scrimmage. He fumbles the snap on first down, <laughs> and there's a big scrumble for that one. Looks like Winford was able yeah, to grab, grab David back, fell back on it. Yeah, but he will lose four yards or three yards back to the, or just two yards back of the 23-yard line. Telling you. Somebody greased the football at halftime, apparently. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. I mean, this is not going to be easy. I mean, uh, you know, even right there, I mean, when the referee just tried to uh, throw the ball to the other referee, he slipped right out of his hands right on the ground. So, I mean, uh, you know, this is going to be something that these teams are both going to have to fight through. So it backs them up a little bit. They're back on the 23-yard line, so it's a second and about 11. As Cal, this time, will get the exchange. Clearly, he gives the ball over to Markley, and Markley will get back to the line of scrimmage. Might have lost another yard or so. And it's getting harder and harder to read those Winford numbers, so we'll yeah, no doubt do the best it. we can for you. And it'll bring up a third down and 13. Winford in the first half had five first downs. They unofficially ran 28 plays. They were 0 for 6 on third downs, 2 for 2 on fourth downs, and had the one turnover in the first half. And again, leading at 7 to nothing. Faced here with a third and 13, but they're in four down range. And as Cal will send a man in motion out of the backfield, that was Corona who had lined up in the back. Back to throw is Cal. He rolls toward his bench. He stops now, steps up. He fires the ball off balance, and it'll be thrown over everybody's head. Getting hit as he threw the ball. Back down by Mike Grove and just overthrew everybody. Good job by Cal, avoiding the initial rush that came at him. The uh, Winford Royal offensive line actually did a decent job of blocking. One guy finally slipped through for Colonel Crawford. Cal was able to avoid him, and then, like you said, he got a hit as he uh, put that throw up. But still, uh, it's a good secondary play by Colonel Crawford. Nobody open downfield. It'd be about a 40-yard field goal attempt, so they're going to go for it on the fourth down here. And they were two for two on the fourth downs in the first half. And as they bring it up to the line of scrimmage, Cal will... Roll back, a blitz is on, and David just throws the ball away. It's going to be complete, and they will lose some more yardage. Corona, I think, no. Nope. Have to wait till they unpilot to see who the receiver was. It'll be uh, Colonel Crawford's ball regardless. That would be Trent Gerhardt caught the pass. Yeah, that happened a little bit yeah. earlier as well, where he just kind of, you know, dumped it off to Gerhard as best as he could. But uh, as a result, uh, you know, Colonel Crawford, who's been putting a, a hard blitz on Cal, but, uh, you know, getting through guy, guys through to him, uh, they, you know, get a little bit better yardage. From the 28-yard line, this time the handoff is clean as Steiger gives the ball to Roger Perkins, who is in there. And Roger brings it out to the 33-yard line, so a pickup of almost five on the play. And a second down and five. Crawford back to the wishbone to start the second half. They did run some uh, eye formation in the first half as well. well. They're in very good yardage, you know, as far as field position goes compared to what they've been yeah. facing. I mean, this is probably one of the best that they've faced all game. Steiger reaching under center. Oh, what a long count this time. Finally gets the snap. He keeps the football himself, and he's going to be out close to the first down as he gets it. About the 37-yard line. Needs the 38 for the first down. So I think he's going to be just a little bit short. Another nice play. Yeah, they're doing a good job there right now. Getting some positive yardage, finding some holes. The offensive line's doing a nice job moving around the Royal defensive line. Just opening up little holes here and there. And, uh, I mean, right now, just right here in the last two plays, they've got more than half the yardage that they got in the entire first half. They will measure it. Colonel Crawford ran the 21 plays in the first half. Just two first downs. They were 0 for 6 on third downs, and here they're going to be up. Oh, it is enough for the first down, so first down, Eagle. they do con convert. Um, makes it a first down for Colonel Crawford. That was just their third of the night. But again, you know, on top of the weather conditions, the fact that they've started every drive, and yeah. well, so many drives to their own 10-yard line, I mean, you know, getting first downs is always very difficult. So Steiger again. Under center, we'll turn around and give the ball to Perkins, who's the first man in the wishbone, and he gets it across the 40 out of the 41-yard line. Another four-yard pickup. 
And again, I'm a, you know, I'm a big fan, uh, once again, and I've showed it, you know, during the first half that, you know, in these types of situations, just go with the simple plays, you know, and I think that's what Colonel Crawford has gone back to on this drive. And they're starting to get some offensive line holes. They're starting to blow open some holes there and uh, getting a little some positive yardage. So again, Steiger under center. He will keep the football. He's going to get chased, and he's going to go down back at the 30-yard line as Winford blitzed that time. And I think he wanted to give the football up, but realized if he hands it off, he may have handed it to a Winford Royal. Mm -hmm. And they're going to say he went down back at the 33-yard line, so a loss of eight on the play. Yeah, they tried to do it, you know, either uh, give the handoff off or just, you know, fake the handoff and go with the rollout. But either way, Winford uh, all over him in the, in the backfield and uh, ends up uh, being a big loss. We'll bring up a third down and 16. 8.15 to go in the third period. 7 nothing. Winford is leading. And Steiger will turn around, hands the football off, and getting a good initial start was uh, Ryan Schmidt. But he will be well short of the first down. As he gets back, only to I think the original line of scrimmage when this whole thing started, the 30, he got up to the 38-yard line, so he got five on that last play. And Colonel Crawford will have to punt the football away. And with Schmidt back to punt, I mean, they really like to try to get a good one uh, off right now, put Winford deep in their own territory. Kind of a floating a snap, but no big rushes on it. A nice kick by Schmidt. The return man will take a cow, takes it at about the 37-yard line and gets it just across the 40. So Winford will have it at the 41-yard line. Royals leading at 7 to nothing. We've got 7.32 left to play in the third period. Winford did a nice job at, at times in the first half. You know, broken open some holes for the tailbacks to get through, and it'll be interesting to see if they're going to be able to, you know, get back into that momentum again. You know, you know, be able to hold on to the football, don't make any penalties, keep themselves out of the, you know, second and, and third and longs. So Winford with the first and ten at their own 41-yard line as Calbon first down. He has a little bit of motion. Mm -hmm. One of the backs stood up inadvertently. That'll be the fifth penalty on Winford tonight. They're up to 35 yards in that department nice and moves him back to the 36 yard line and uh, raining just lightly right now he did have some uh, pretty heavy downpour late in the first half yep but it's been consistent though yeah. as far as you know the rainy you know it just keeps coming so it, you know it's not where you, you know you can throw the ball over to the sideline towel it off as yeah. much as you want but you know it's it's gonna get wet right again real fast so colonel crawford excuse me winford after the penalty will we have a first and 15 now as Cal brings him up to the line of scrimmage. David faked the handoff. And that it was just, uh, you know, uh, miscommunication, yeah. like you said. I mean, he was going off to the left. Everybody else kind of going off. Pelting down, as they say. Or as we say, back to throw is Cal. He's rolling to the near side this time. Ball oh. pops out of his hand. And Colonel Crawford has it at the 23-yard line. Now, are they going to say it was a forward pass or not? Uh, there's, I mean, he was still yeah, pulling back. He was pulling, cocking yeah, back as he was... Up, yeah. uh, you know, he, he was actually rolling out, and, he, you know, he cocked back to try to make a pass, and as he did, the ball just slipped right out of his hands, and it wasn't really a situation where he was about to get hit or anything like that. I mean, he had some guys chasing him, but he still had some room to operate. It was just a situation where the ball slips out of your hands. Weather conditioning's play, uh, playing yeah. havoc again, and now Colonel Crawford definitely has the best field position they've had all game long. Yeah, they'll be back at the Winford 23-yard line, so it's a 10-yard loss on the play besides uh, turning the ball over. Colonel Crawford... We'll send Tim Greenick out to the left. Andy Bishop over the ball at center as Steiger reaches under. And he will hand the football off. And no running room at all is going to be a Schmidt. 74. Or check that. It's going to be Haldeman. Schmidt. 40 here. They could say Schmidt. Okay. Yeah, it was Schmidt. Okay. It'll be no gain on the play. And brings a base second down and 10. Clock running, 6.20 left to go in the third. Again, Winford with a late second quarter touchdown. That's the only score in the ball game so far, and they're leading at 7 to nothing. Again, they're running out of the wishbone. With Perkins being the up back, and boy, it's really coming down now. Mm -hmm. Ball is kept, but now it's getting hard to see. Yeah, it is. It's really coming down. Got to uh, say a lot for the fans that have uh, stuck this one out tonight. <laughs> they go for the wishbone, third down. And 24, third down and 17. 
And check that, it's 11. Third and 11 from the 24-yard line. Ball is kept by Steiger. He's coming to the short side, and he'll get still on his feet. It's 20, breaks away down go. to the 15-yard line. Boy, if he breaks the tackle by Cal, he'd have been gone. Mm -hmm. Nice good uh, second effort, yeah. Right there by Brandon Steiger. And he'll say he got it down to the 15-yard line, so he picks up 10 on the play. And it's going to bring up a fourth down and about two, it looks like. Well, and just decision time here. Do you go for the uh, field goal or do you run? Well, we'll take a timeout and discuss it. So Colonel Crawford will call a time with 4.45 left to play in the third period. It's Winford 7, Colonel Crawford nothing. First up, you know, kicking the game, your kicking game first off is a question mark in this weather anyway, especially when it's coming down like it is right now. But on top of it, who knows when they're going to be able to get down into this yeah. territory again. I mean, offenses are going to struggle in this weather. So, you know, take your opportunity when you got it. It's going to be a tough two yards, but you got to go. Here goes Steiger on a fourth down and two. He will take the football, keeps it himself. He ducks in the right side, and I don't know if he got it or not. It's going to be yeah, tough. He got one for sure, but whether or not he got the second yard is going to be tough. Yeah, it was uh, a couple of Winford Royals able to step up. It was I know Corona was there, maybe Jeff Carter nope, as well. It. Yeah, didn't, but they're it, not even going to measure. No, nope, he's probably only got a half yard on yeah. the play. But uh, the Winford Royals really made the step up and made a big play. But still, I, regardless of the fact that they didn't get it, I still agree with yeah, the call on call, that yeah. play. I really think you need to go for it under that situation. So Winford will take over at their own 15-yard line. And what the Colonel Crawford defense wants to do, of course, right now is get a three and out and get fairly decent field position mm -hmm. back. Winford will split wide receivers on first down. Cal has two running backs behind him. And he will turn around and give the ball to the first back through. I'm going to guess Markley, but we'll wait a lay. It was Markley. And he does get it out across the to about the 16-yard line, so a one-yard pickup. And a second down and... Nine, this is WQE Albu Cyrus, the first choice in North Central Ohio for sports. Jim Radke. Jeff Roberts. On a rainy night in North Robins. Absolutely. And as Jeff was saying, let's hope it lets up by the time we need to tear down, because <laughs> yeah, yeah. really? Jeff's going to get really wet tearing down. If oh, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Split wide receivers <laughs> for Winford as Cal brings it up to the line of scrimmage. He will keep the football himself. He's got the option. He's going to duck inside. 20-yard line gets undercut and falls forward to about the 24-yard line. Initial uh, hit was made by Gary Haldeman. And they're going to say David down at the... We'll give him 24, so it'll be about an 8-yard pickup. Brings up a third and two. Winford is 0 for 7 on the third down conversions. Or, yeah, 0 for 7. There's 3.35 left to go in this third period. And again, it's a 7 nothing Winford lead. As Cal will bring Corona and Weisenauer as receivers to the near side. It's a big third down for yeah. Colonel Crawford. I think you really want to make the stop here, trying to make them get a turnover and uh, you know get the ball in a good field position. Ball is pitched to the near side, and they've got the first down as Gerhardt will get it. They offset the uh, running backs with Gerhardt being almost behind the uh, tackle at the tight end, and they pitched the ball out that way. and. Trent able to get it across almost to the 26-yard line, so he picks up two yards on the play and a big first down for Winford. Yeah, very good play for Winford Royals. And uh, once again, you know, for Colonel Crawford, I mean, it, it comes down to the fact that, you know, I mean, even if they can make a stop right here, you know, Caleb's a pretty strong punter, and, you know, he's going to be able to put Colonel Crawford, in theory, back in their own territory. I mean, that's why that, that possession right there I thought was so big. Winford's first first down of the second half as they're out to their 26-yard line now, and they've got somebody lined up wrong. They move Gerhardt quickly over to the other side, and Cal, did he call a timeout in time? Yeah. Yes, he did. So Winford has to take a timeout here as they were in the wrong formation. 2.40 left to go in the third period. We step aside with the score. Winford, 7. Colonel Crawford, nothing. Remember when he's 6. And there's 2.40 left to play in this third period. And they're still getting people in and out. And uh, I think we're finally ready to go as Cal will come under center. Backs in the tee behind him this time. He gives the football off to Gerhardt and Trent, or check that to Markley. And Andy will only get a short chunk of running room. Like he only got back to the line of scrimmage, so it brings up a second down and 10. Winford's done a nice job, or excuse me, Colonel Crawford's done a nice job of uh, closing down the holes that were in the middle of the field that Winford was able to find in the first half. They've really kind of constricted down on that. So the quick handoffs to Markley aren't really gaining too many positive yards here in the second half. I mean, you know, Markley's got, you know, close to negative yardage at this point in time. Brings up a second down and 10. 
Two minutes left to go here in the third as a wide receiver out to the right. Backs are in the tee, also a wing to the left, but the ball will be handed off. And coming to the left is going to be Markley again, and Andy will get it out to the 29-yard line, so it picks up three. And it'll bring up a third down and about seven yards for Winford. They just converted their first third down of the night. They're now a one for eight on the evening. Exactly. I mean, that just goes to show you a, a, a offense as high-powered as Winford. Now, you don't want to take anything away from the Colonel Crawford defense because they're very good, one of the best in the NCC. But the fact of the matter is, you know, if the Winford offense can has that type of conversion rate on third downs, yeah. you know that the weather is playing havoc. Well, Corona lines up on the wrong side, has to sprint over to the other side now. And as Cal finally... We'll reach under. He's back to throw. Going to get some pressure. He steps up in the pocket, throws a long ball. He's got Corona. He makes a dive for it, and he's got it down at the 40-yard line. If he wouldn't have had a dive, he'd have been gone, but it'll down to the, you're going to say, the 41-yard line. Pass to Corona. And that'll be another big first down. That's a beautiful play right there by Mark Corona. Goes for 30 yards, and uh, just a, a diving catch. You know, Cal, probably his best throw all yeah. day. He had some time to throw set up throw the football. That's the only way you can throw the ball here in, in this type of a game, is you have to have time. Your offensive linemen have got to step up and give you a time to sit back in that pocket, establish your feet, and also get a good uh, get arm underneath it. And it was just perfectly executed. From the Crawford 41, the ball is handed off to Markley, sweeping right. He's breaking tackles, and he'll be close to another first down as he gets it down to the about the 31-yard line. That's where he needed to go for the first down. You see that happen so often after a big pass play. When they turn around, they just had to give a quick handoff. They end up going for good positive yardage on it just because, you know, the defensive backs, the linebackers, they're all kind of back on their heels after, a, you know, a 30-yard uh, pass. They're kind of, you know, they sit back a little bit, and then all of a sudden you go right back to the run, you get big yardage. Lone's running back this time as they split the wide receivers as Winford on a second and about one. Cal will just hand the football off, and he got the first down and more. As again, it looked like Markley gets down to the 28-yard line, so pick up a four on that play. Yeah, first down for the Winford Royals. They've got eight now on the night, three in this half, and just eight seconds to go till the quarter break, so that was probably the final play, and they will just let the clock run down. So we've played through three tonight in North Robinson. It remains the Winford Royals seven, Colonel Crawford Eagles nothing. Alba to uh, Corona there, the 30-yarder, put uh, the Royals in a good position here because they were pretty much back on their heels for most of this third quarter deep in their own territory. Three wide receivers in the ball game. Markley the only running back, but he gets the handoff and plows over the 25 down to the 24-23 yard line. So another five-yard pickup. West on the stop. Give a lot of credit, though, to Andy Markley. I'm just looking over our numbers here, and he's got 17 carries at this point in time, Jim, and he has yet to fumble the football. And, you know, I mean, it seems like such a little thing, but when you're looking at these conditions, we've seen how many times that ball has hit the ground. Yeah. I mean, that's a big, big deal. You know, you give a lot of credit to him. Second down and six for Winford. They're leading at 7 to nothing, but threatening to double that. On first down, or second down, the ball is handed off to Markley, and he'll be stood up right at the line of scrimmage as there's quite a few black shirts in there. But he will get a couple of yards. That should bring about third and about six. And and nothing uh, there for Markley. They were really sitting back just kind of waiting for him to try to take the handoff on that one. But, uh, yeah, looking at a, about a four yards, maybe five for the first down here. So, uh, once again, for Colonel Crawford, this is a big step up right now. They cannot afford to get down by two touchdowns. Third and four, they're at the 22-yard line. Of course, you've got two downs to go mm -hmm. the four yards here. Lone running back is Markley as they go with the three wide receivers. Cal wants to throw it. He's looking. He fires the ball over the middle. He's got his man, but the ball is stripped. Good defensive play by Adam Grau. And I think it was Corona. I have to wait till he turned, yeah. Mark Corona was the intended receiver. Had it for a moment, and then the ball just got stripped away. Yeah, Corona right there, the ball actually in his hands, but, you know, with the ball being so slick, even when the ball is in your hands, it's not, you know, obviously not real tight. So, uh, you know, just a good play by uh, Grau to get a hand in there just... first half here and what they were deciding to do they're going to go for a field goal here mm -hmm. it would be a 40 yarder they missed a 35 yarder earlier 
And make no mistake about it, I mean, Cooper showed that he got the lag yeah, on him. Yeah. He, you know, he can get there as far as distance goes. And, you know, the two scores, the, you know, that'd be big if Winford can do it. But, I mean, this is not going to be an easy kick there for uh, Matt Cooper. So, 40-yard field goal attempt. The ball is down. The spot, the kick is going to be short this time. Yep. And so the uh, field goal attempt will be no good. Second missed a field goal tonight by Matt Cooper. So the Colonel Crawford Eagles will take over with 10.35 left to play in the ball game. They are trailing by the 7 nothing mark, and they will get the ball at their 20-yard line. That's a big step up right there for the Colonel Crawford defense. That kept them in this football game. You know, with 10.35 left, obviously, moving the football hasn't been easy, but, you know, obviously, you're only down by one touchdown. It takes one big play. You're right back in it. So Colonel Crawford will come out. Brandon Steiger at the quarterback. They've gone back to the uh, I formation. They've run both the uh, wishbone and the I tonight. As Steiger on first down will roll out to his right. He's just going to throw a little flare. That's a lateral, and oh boy. that's going to be Winford's football. Yep. Yeah, And it will be uh -huh. recovered by Winford. It was a lateral. They tried to throw mm -hmm. the ball over to Greenick, and Winford will recover. That's going to be the fifth turnover on Colonel Crawford tonight. That will go as another, that'll be their uh, third fumble. It, that, that play was, you know, really kind of discombobulated yeah. from the very start. Is you know, it was uh, you know Steiger kind of rolling out to his right, and uh, Greenick had stepped back a little bit, you know, to like he was going to take the catch, but uh, you know Steiger just kept rolling and rolling and rolling until he was about to get hit. Then he threw, you know, what was that pass? But uh, it went back. You know, he threw it back about two yards, like you said. So it becomes a lateral, and Greenick dropped it. So from the 13-yard line, the ball is handed off and slipping to his left. Be Markley. And Andy will get it down to about the 10-yard line, so he picks up three yards on the play, where it's second down and seven. He's got 10-13 left to play. It's a 7 nothing Winford lead, but Colonel Crawford threatening now as they're down, as we said, to the 11-yard line about. And right now, uh, this is the type of field position that if you need to bring Cooper out again to kick a field goal, I mean, this we're definitely in his range right now. Raining is still here at North Robinson. Ball is handed off. Straight up the middle goes Markley again. And Andy will get it down to about the nine-yard line, so a two-yard pickup. Bring up a third down and about uh, six yards to go. Well, what Winford's doing here, too, is they've got themselves a sure-handed ball carrier, something they got a Absolutely. lot of confidence in, and just giving him the ball. No doubt about it. That's a smart move right there. I mean, at this point in time, Andy Markley's doing a great job holding onto the football, so, hey, give it to him. Let him go. So third down and about six yards to go. As Kalb trying to get Crawford to jump defensively. Still hasn't snapped it. Now they do, and I think he took too long. Yeah. Yep. Tried a little too hard yeah. to get Crawford to jump, and it cost him five yards. That one's tough, too, yeah. because, you know... And you're down to the nine, now you're back to the 14. Exactly. You, you know, you had a third and six right there. Now you're at a third yeah. and 11. And, you know, five yards, when you're looking at a possibility of being able to put at least three more points on the board, that could be an important five yards. Or, yeah. you know, five yards as far as, you know, when you're looking at a field goal in and, this weather. And, and with the weather, too, that may have been a play just to maybe try to center the football. Sure. Mm -hmm. So now they've got a little longer to go as it's... A third and 11, the ball on the 14-yard line. As Cal, this time he's going to go quick count. As he drops the throw, he is looking. He fires the ball. Down Winford, so it didn't matter what they did there. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like Corona, but we'll have to wait to get some verification from those with better eyes. 14-yard <laughs> touchdown pass. Yeah, I would say it looked like it's Corona. Mark, yeah, it looked like Mark over there. Because, uh, but uh, Corona, is especially, like, I mean, the Winford jerseys are tough to see, but Corona's a special. I mean, he's been yeah. all over the mud, apparently, because uh, his the whole front of his jersey is just sopped and got mud all over it. So Cooper in to attempt the point after. As he had to go to the sideline quickly to change shoes. Cooper will attempt the point after. Calb is the holder. There's the snap, the spot, the kick is up, and it's going to be good as it caught the inside of the left uh, upright. We've got 8.59 left to play in the ball game. It's now the Winford Royals 14, Colonel Crawford Eagles nothing who's been very sure-handed, one of the few people out there who has. And then, uh, you know, that kind of sets up a good rollout pass play. David Kalb to Mark Corona for the big touchdown. So Cooper has the football uh, teed up, ready to uh, kick it off. 
to Colonel Crawford. Been no wind here tonight, just uh, lots and lots of rain. As Cooper is set. Kicked it pretty deep tonight. He'll get his foot into that one again. It's going to be a shorter one, though. Comes up at about the 10-yard line, 15 of the 20. Near side, 25. That's Schmidt at the 30-yard line. And Ryan will go down in a heap right in front of the Colonel Crawford bench at the 30-yard line. So the Eagles trailing by two touchdowns now. We'll see if they can get something going offensively. Really not had that great of a field position in the first half. The uh, first half, their field position averaged about the 18-yard line. In the second half, this is their best uh, starting point at the 30. Started two drives at their 20, one at the 28, and one at the 23. So, I've been in a hole to start with all night. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, this is what's going to be tough with down two touchdowns. I mean, they're going to need some quick strikes. And in this type of conditions, I mean, quick strikes are very difficult. Greenick and Cochran split out to the right. Steiger on first down. Hands the football off. That is Perkins. And he gets a big burst up the middle, up close to the 40 yard line. He'll be about a yard short. Oh, the first down. I think everybody uh, looking pass, and that time Perkins able to get the ball go right up the middle. But you see, that's going to be okay by Winford because even though he picked up good yards on the play, the fact of the matter is, is the clock's going to keep rolling. Rain has stopped again. Let some of the water recede at least, maybe. Yeah. So on second down, they split two receivers out to the right. And Steiger has two running backs behind him this time. He keeps the football himself on the quarterback draw, and he goes right up the middle to do, get a first down out to the 46-yard line, so pick up a seven on the play. And that'll be this the fourth first down of the ball game for Colonel Crawford, two in each half now. Ooh. The official was uh, throwing the ball out of bounds, and he banged it off the uh, head of one of the Colonel Crawford assistants. And it seems to be all right, but Wow. Yeah, saw Dang, that one. Dangerous being a coach. No doubt. <laughs> Backs are in the eye. As Steiger hands the football off again, Perkins, the ball carrier, and Roger will only get a yard out to about the... No gain. No, no gain, I'm going to say, on the play. So they got back to the 46-yard line. Down in 10. Robert has to keep an eye on the clock now. Just 7.40 left to play. They're down 14 to nothing to Winford. Yeah, like you said, you see, I mean, they're moving as quickly as they can. You know, Steiger, you know, he's running back and forth trying to get in these plays. You know, they've moved probably, you know, maybe 12 yards at this point in time on this drive, but they've, they've wiped over a minute off the clock in, in the process. So, again, Steiger under center, backs in the eye. The two wides are out to the right. Fumbled on the snap, and Crawford will cover it as Ryan Schmidt falls on it back at the 43-yard line, so it'll be a loss of three on the play. Loss of three on the play. Crawford with uh, four turnovers, or three fumbles that they've lost, and they've had at least that many that they've been able to recover themselves. Mm -hmm. And and that's, you know, part of the problem that you're going to face, obviously. And that's, you know, why I, you know, I was such a big proponent earlier in this game of, you know, trying to keep it simple. You know, go with the simple handoffs, you know, but even those are not easy. Yeah. You know, I mean... Oh, we've seen a lot of exchanges exactly. just drop between the center and the quarterback. Exactly, right? between the center and the quarterback, and then between the quarterback and the halfback. Backs in the eye. It's third and long for Crawford. Steiger will roll out. He throws a little flare pass up and right side. It's going to be complete this time to Schmidt. Weaving his way up the field, and he gets into Winford territory. Good little play there. Gets down to the Winford 49-yard line. Pickup of eight on the play. Yeah, that's a nice play for the Colonel Crawford Eagles. I mean, it, it still puts them in a, in a fourth down situation that's not necessarily going to be easy, but it's uh, you know definitely much more makeable. And you're going to have to go for it here with just 6-10 left to play down by two touchdowns. At the 49-yard line, Crawford is 0 for 1 on fourth downs tonight. They need five yards here. Have to get down to the Winford, what, the Winford 44 would be about. Mm -hmm. And Steiger under center. He will keep the football himself. Almost got pulled through the pile, and he will be short of the first down by a good two yards. And as he got it down to the 46. So the second time this half, it, Colonel Crawford turns it over on downs. And Winford now just try to play a little ball control. Takes over with 5.51 left and leading by two touchdowns. Yeah, and the Winford Royals at this point in time would expect Andy Markley to get some handoffs here and uh, pretty much you know hold on to the football, make it easy, you know, wear down the clock. So Cal taking his time as he comes up to the line of scrimmage, has the back three running backs this time. He goes to the 
Middle back, getting to the near side. I believe that is Markley, and he will be very close to the first down as he gets it across down to the 45-yard line. Yeah, Markley on the carry ball down. It will be Andy Markley, and he's into Crawford territory at the 46-yard line. See, Andy Markley at this point in time, 85 yards on 21 carries. You know, good, not great, but more importantly, in 21 carries, he hasn't fumbled yet. Yeah. I mean, you know, that is probably as important as anything else in this point in time in the ball game. That's why I expect that Markley's going to continue to get the football for the Winford Royals. They're at the Eagles' 44-yard line. Winford with a second down and one. As they bring three wide receivers into the ball game, Markley the only running back behind Cal, and David will keep the football this time. He get the 40-yard line, 35-30. He could be gone. 25-20, 15-10, 5 touchdown, David Cal. Cal goes 54 yards or 46 yards, excuse me, for his second touchdown of the night. Or actually, it was accounted for all three touchdowns: two running and one uh, passing. And yeah. David Kalb on that play, I mean, it, it was a planned play, you know, to, for him to hold on to the ball, but it almost just looked like a broken play. I mean, he, he faked the handoff to Markley. Everybody kind of converged on him, and then, uh, you know, he you know held on to the ball after the faked handoff and then uh, found a little hole off to the left side, took off through it, and David Kalb, probably one of the faster players on yep. the field, he was able to get about five yards deep and then just take off with his speed from there. Big Matt, touchdown. Matt Cooper just got the shoe tied up, so I should go to Velcro on him, I think. <laughs> Yes. Yep, they're going to take too much time, yep. Yeah. As they do not get the extra point attempt off in time. So they'll move it back five yards. And it looks like they're still going to go for the one point conversion, leading it 20 to nothing now with just 4.56 left. It only took about a minute off the clock, but they did score, so. And now they'll put it down. It'll be a 25 yard extra point attempt. And there goes the tent that the homecoming queen was standing under. There's the snap, <laughs> the spot, the kick is on its way, and that one's going to be good. So we've got a timeout on the field, 4.56 left to play. It's now the win for the one, Colonel Crawford Eagles, nothing. So Cooper has the ball teed up, although everybody is off to his left. And Cooper will bluff it. And now they deploy normally, and Crawford will counter with their return team. Schmidt back deep. And there's the approach, and it will be... Schmidt's going to take it. Almost slipped and fell. He drops the football, now rolls in the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So Crawford will start off at the 20-yard line, which is about as good as they've been able to do tonight with a starting... Yeah, possession. Well, you know, part of it is because of the fact that uh, you know, as far as kickoffs go, Matt Cooper's just got a great leg. Yeah. I mean, you know, he fires those you know kickoffs. I mean, that one he probably came down. I mean, around the maybe five yard line, maybe even inside the five yard line. Yeah. So uh, you know, even if he does you know get a hold of the, of the football by the time he takes it back, I mean, you know, maybe he, he can get a, the wedge developing and he might be able to find something. But still, I mean, that's a tough kick return right there. Carl Crawford, under five minutes to play, starting at their own 20-yard line. As Steiger will reach under, he's going to hand the football off. Or, excuse me, he keeps it now. He rolls to the outside, and good run by Brandon as he gets it out to the 20, almost 28-yard line. So a pickup of eight on the play. Absolutely. I mean, that's a very good play for Colonel Crawford as far as at this point in time, you know, you know, they don't feel like you don't feel like you're out of the game, but you still want to try to develop something here. Try to, you know, get this offense going again because, you know, they haven't been playing the wishbone for that long. I mean, this is only the second week with it right now. Still trying to work out some of the bugs in it. And, uh, you know, that's something that they're going to, you know, go with right now, hoping that they can, uh, you know, get some positive momentum going into these upcoming games they've got going on. Second down and two yards to go as Steiger again working from the wishbone. will can the football off to the, you know, about the third back into that particular hole, and it's going to be a first down for Colonel Crawford. As they unpilot. And yeah. I believe that was going to be uh, Cochran. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Cochran able to make yeah. it. Get a first blast down. Blast right through and get a first down for Colonel Crawford. So first down for the Eagles. Just their third here in the second half. They're fifth on the night, and they're looking at the four-minute mark. Trailing 21 to nothing. Jeff and I will be back here next to Friday night in North Robinson as the Colonel Crawford will be playing Crestline. Backs again in the wishbone. 
And Steiger will again give the ball. Coming to the near side is Cochran, and he's into the secondary. He almost breaks it as he gets it down close to the 50-yard line. Nice 20-yard pickup down to the 48. Absolutely. Best run right now of the day for Colonel Crawford. Really able to break that one right through. Cochran got into the secondary, was able to spin away from a couple of arm tackles, and a very good positive gain for the Eagles. So Colonel Crawford out to the Winford 48-yard line. They have not been in Winford territory in the second half. And I believe only got there once in the first half, so they'll keep the uh, formation tight this time. And Steiger will turn around again, gives the ball to Cochran. This time Andy is hit and dropped at the line of scrimmage. Winford going for the uh, football that time, yep. almost able to strip it away, but Cochran got a good hand on it. Yeah, it was a good job by Cochran. His initial hit that he got almost jarred the ball right out of his hands. But uh, instead of worrying about still trying to press himself forward, he made sure he had control of the football and then tried to make his way forward. Still no yardage there for the Eagles. Second down and 10, clock down to 2.55 left to play. Again, the same offensive formation with a receiver to split a couple of yards out to the right. Steiger will turn around, keeps the football. He's got the first down as he gets into Winford territory down to the Royals' 47-yard line. Pick up a five on the play and another Colonel Crawford first down. Steiger on the keeper. It'll be their seventh. No, actually, uh, yeah, still a third down and five. Oh, sorry. Yep. That's right, I forgot I was second and long. So third down, Colonel Crawford has yet to convert on a third down tonight. Kind of like the Cleveland Browns, aren't they? <laughs> Come on, I think Colonel Crawford could beat the player. <laughs> third and five. <laughs> As they split the receiver out to the right. Again from the wishbone, the Steiger will... Nope, fumbled. Oh, and yeah. who's got it? Winford gets that one. Yeah, Winford saying they've got it. Yeah. So. Yep, yep, the officials sure are saying now that'll be the sixth turnover on Colonel Crawford tonight. Their fourth lost fumble. Their third fumble here in the second half. And Winford just needs to run the clock out with a minute 56 left. And, you know, those mistakes, you know, as far as you know, turning the football over. We knew it was going to happen this game. We also said at the beginning the team that's able to hold on to the yeah. football more is going to probably walk out of this game with a victory, and Winford has been able to figure out a way to do that, and that's by giving the ball to Andy Markley. And he will get the football there as he sweeps left, kind of slipped a little bit, but comes back and gets it down to the Crawford, I guess put it right to 50-yard line, so it'll be a pickup of about three on the play. Markley on the carry. Well, he's been the workhorse tonight. Absolutely. At this point in time, he got 22 carries, according to my numbers here, and uh, you know, going at about four yards pop right now, which is you know just yeah. standard, you know, very simple running. You know, give him the ball, let him go, and uh, you know, and, and it's been mostly handoffs in between the guards. You know, I mean, let alone the tackles. I mean, he's been going a lot up the middle, so you're not going to get huge carries, generally speaking, doing that type of running. Cal will again hand the ball off to Markley. This time he does get a bit of a hole. He's into the, got the first down as he falls forward to the, about the 40-yard line. So pickup of almost 10 on that play. Uh, Woody Hayes believed in four yards in a cloud of dust tonight. It's been four yards in a splash. <laughs> yeah. So we're down to a minute eight left to play in the ball game. And this is a good win for the win for yeah. the Royals, obviously. I mean, they wanted to make sure they came in here to Colonel Crawford, which is a team that, you know, on paper, they're definitely a better team than. They really couldn't afford to come in here and lose this one. You know, these the games, maybe they, they still got Crestline on the schedule, which is going to probably come down to be the battle for the NCC. Games against Colonel Crawford, they've got to come out with victories. And Cal looking over the sideline to see how much time he had to snap the football, then he finally does. And it looks like Mr. Markley again gets to carry the football. And he'll bring it down the 36, 37 yard line. Somebody's gonna have to wash his uniform tonight, that's for sure. And Winford, I don't think, needs to snap it anymore as here comes the rain again. And we're gonna end it as we started it, under a heavy shower. And Winford may need to snap it one more time as they get everybody in tight and Cal will just come up to the line, take the snap and kneel down and that will be the ball game. So the Winford Royals come into North Robinson tonight on the homecoming. And they will uh, pitch a shutout here, scoring a touchdowns in the second and fourth uh, quarters. 
The uh, final score of our uh, ball game tonight is going to be the Winford Royals 21, Colonel Crawford Eagles nothing, and we'll wrap it up right after this.